Hi everyone and welcome back to Rosie's Reviews. Today I'm going to be sharing my experience at the 10X conference in Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay um, this past February 20th through the 24th where I went to see Grant Cardone and all these different speakers from actors, publicists, sports people, producers, people that you didn't expect to go see, people that were surprise speakers and some that you knew that were going to be there like Kevin Hart. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't um, very open to Grant Cardone because my husband is, you know, that's his mentor, that's who he listens to, and I was kind of like annoyed that he's always uh, quoting Grant Cardone. We sometimes have arguments and he's like, well, Grant Cardone, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, ugh, i always rolling my eyes. I wasn't really open to I knew I was going to learn something because there was going to be different motivational speakers and just people that were encouraging you to grow as a person from entrepreneurs to business owners to leaders to moms whatever phase you are in your life that's what's good about the conference is that it teaches you to be a better person to grow in that area whatever that area might be in your personal life any struggles anything that you wish you had you know you could do better that's what it was aiming to do for everyone uh 10x means it just means growing your life in a better in a better way how could i make this 10 times better pretty much is what it's saying how can i be if i'm making this much money a month how can i make it 10 times more if i'm selling this much and it's not really just selling because me my husband is the one that is the business owner i help out you know with taxes with all these paperwork but i mostly help him with that so i'm not really in there where he's doing the selling i'm not really in that same place so for me 10x is what am I doing with my life? What is the purpose of my life? Am I achieving everything that I can? Am I living to my full potential? Or what can I do? What, what am I lacking in? So you kind of have to ask yourself those questions and be ready to have an answer to be like, what's really is the purpose? What am I trying to achieve? If I, you know, if I die or if something happens, what did I leave? Not necessarily for my kids, but for the world. Like, how am I making this place a better place? So that's pretty much what it's telling you. And, and that's just for me, because for me, I've been struck. I do struggle sometimes. I'm like, you know what? What am I really doing? My husband has his dream, support his dream. And I am getting way out of subject here that's why i was very like oh you know grand cardone because my husband listens to him so he's always it's always in the background it's always like and some of the things i'm just like oh grand, you know grandpa grand cardone there he goes again but i was like i said i was a little bit annoyed and i was like i'm not really looking forward to meeting grand cardone literally that attitude this is how i went and it was the first day um the first day was friday and then saturday was the second day and third day was sunday and i was very amazed very surprised um because i i wasn't expecting to like grant cardone i was ex you know i was excited to meet the speakers and you know learn from them take notes and just be open-hearted to you know whatever was coming my way and just like taking all this knowledge all this information so when i saw grant cardone i was like wow you know he is very humble he is yeah he talks about money he talks about this because you know he has worked hard for where he is at i was kind of like wow you know he is just like me and you he is just a normal person he has dreams he has kids he has his wife you know he is he's like i saw him very small like oh my gosh he's tiny he's small he's not like this big guy who's like ah my money my, my, you know all these things so i was just like wow i i was very surprised to like him uh to like his wife and to like his little girls so i was like wow you know this guy put this together for us to learn it's just like I, I that for me was like wow mind blown and i just love the speakers some of them you know there was some that were like talked about marketing so you were just like you know take notes take notes take notes information that is very valuable some people were talked about their experiences and every every single speaker from the 10x conference had a different story different stories that had shaped their lives so it was just very like oh wow you know these people did struggle it wasn't like oh you know it was handed down you know from the parents or it was something that they didn't have to work for they worked for that you know comedians like kevin hart that i mentioned earlier you had Usher there. My favorite was um, Brad Parscale, which is an advertising strategist for the president. For me, his experiences just and his knowledge that he shared was just like, oh my gosh, like my, it was just so like amazing, so uh, important, like so wow, like really the 
the advertising strategist from President Trump is here. That is so awesome. And just, it was pretty, it was a pretty cool experience. Okay, Scooter Brown, hands down, was my favorite. Why? He has an, you know, 10X is about achieving and keep going and keep growing, not just, you know, being happy with where, where you're at. Yeah, you could be happy with where you're at. But, you know, you want to grow in some other area as well. So for me, uh, Scooter Brown, he, who is he? He is a record executive who has worked with like Ariana Grande, like all these famous artists, like Justin Bieber, you know, all, all those famous people. And for me, he has achieved, he has, he has achieved it all. And when I say all, I mean money, I mean family, I mean happiness. A lot of these people talked about, you know, how money wasn't really, how money wasn't, making them happy it wasn't their happy ending it was how they were feeling it was more like what am i doing for my family if it was not just about the money so it was just amazing for me to hear scooter how he has how he lives his life you know from waking up in the morning and saying you know what i'm not gonna go to my phone the first thing i'm gonna do is you know kiss my wife go talk to my kids before i even turn on the phone and look at all those emails look at my social media and it just takes you back and you're just like you know what it's true you know you might achieve something which is like you know fame money power whatever you are trying to achieve but at the end you know what is making me happy? Why am I doing this? And kind of like look back, step back and be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. So for me, Scooter, he was like, oh, he was amazing. I'm like, I want his life. I want his life. Like, that's what I want. You know, I want to have it all. And everyone wants to have it all, but not everyone who has it all is happy. And for me, him, his life, it just seemed that he was happy. So for me, he was like the best. Of course, I loved Usher. I mean, who doesn't love Usher? It was so, you know, his his singing, of course, you know, he sang a little bit and it was just like, wow, Usher. Woo. I was not expecting to see John Travolta. I cried i'm like john travolta no way like i wanted him to dance you know to do something but you know he, he was just there and he was amazing i was just like wow you know the guy has like seven planes and he and grand cardone has like you know one so it's just like wow all these different type of like levels and not really levels just they just talked about their experience and wh what made them happy and how they how 10x what 10x means for them because like i said before 10x is different for everyone it could be for it could, it can mean totally something different for you but how are you reaching your potential in life if you already have it all what can you do or what are what are you going to be remembered for so it's just like it, it was such an amazing experience first day you walk in and there's people there was a bunch of lines and the, they give out something every day. I didn't know this, but they do. The first day they gave out this planner. It was the 10X where you're able to take notes and it was pretty cool because I was like, ooh, if you didn't bring a planner, you can you know, have a planner. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the second day they did these flags, 10X. So this is more like a souvenir because it wasn't like really used during the conference, but it was, a, it was pretty cool. And the third day they give you like a little bracelet, which I... I'm gonna be honest I lost it I don't know where it's at flying back was you know it, it was hard coronavirus or COVID-19 however you want to call it was everywhere and people were disinfecting and so was I and it was a scary situation I'm thankful that there wasn't anything going on in Las Vegas at that time or at least we didn't know that we're all healthy and that we're all we're all good but yeah it was it was good I was executive so I paid the least amount of money to be there but once you're when you're trying when you're buying the tickets uh, the sooner you get it you're able to choose your seat so even though i was executive i got really good seats I, in my experience yes there are the floor seats which is diamond and vip and those that were vip and diamond actually got to party with snoop dogg on friday at the mandela bay club so i was like oh man you know i I kind of wish I would have done that because you're able to, you know, network, you're able to talk to different people, party with them, ooh, ooh, do whatever you want, not not whatever you want, but like, you know, get to know each other and talk more. I did get to know the people that were sitting next to me um, the very first day, the second and third day, mm, they were not very friendly. So I was like, you know what, I'm just here to learn. I'm going to network with some other people, not you. So I was able to network with some other people. They were, they were actually Herbalife consultants so that's why they were there so i was like oh 
all right. And my husband and I, you know, we own a cell phone repair shop. So that's why we were there for, you know, we, he's been, um, Grant Cardone has been a husband's mentor and has helped us, you know, achieve different things and achieve different dreams that we thought were impossible because, you know, even though you're down and sometimes right now, especially right now with the economy, you're just like, you can, you can lose hope. You can lose like motivation and just lose sight of why you're doing what you're doing. You're not able to save money. You're not able to, you're barely able to pay, you know, your employees, pay yourself, pay, pay the bills. So it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's a sad time for everyone, not just, you know, small businesses. It's just, a, you know, it's a sad time right now. So, you, you know, just to listen to Grant Cardone right now and just listen to like all the different things and just put 10x again because they have the recording and they sell the recording of this 10x conference so if you didn't have a chance to go you're able to listen to it so and how I compare my experience when people ask me so what did you learn I'm like I can't really summarize what I learned I just know that for me I want to say it's almost like going to church when you go to church you know you listen to the pastor you listen to the message and you try to change things up you try to you know you remember, oh, you know what, you know, am I, am I, what am I doing with my life? Like, am I living it, you know, the way that, you know, God wants me to live it? Um, am I teaching my kids the right things? You go to church and you have this relationship with God and you're kind of reminded of it every Sunday. If you go to church or every Wednesdays, whenever you go to church, you're reminded, you know, to stay away from like sin. If you, you know, stay away from, not stay away, but, you know, live just a better life. So for me, 10x was like church. You go and you learn something and you're just like applying it to your life. You're just like, and if you stop listening to the mentor or if you stop listening to Grant Cardone, if that's who your mentor is, you kind of tend to stay, you, you kind of tend to like forget about those things and just kind of live your life however. If I save money, I save money. If I'm able to, if I make this month a $1,000 and if I make it, I make it. If not, as long as my bills are paid. No, 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 no. So that's kind of where it's where I'm going with this is that I compare it to church that way. It's kind of a reminder. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm planning on going next year just because, like I said, it kind of it kind of like opens up your eyes and you're just like, what am I doing? How am I living? Why am I doing what I'm doing? So it's kind of like a reminder to live to your fullest potential, whatever that might be and whatever is making you happy. Not necessarily money, not necessarily power, but just life. So I'm, I mean, I hope, okay, I was going to speak about negative things. I don't really have negative things that I didn't like. There were some speakers that were kind of like, mm, they went over my head. That's, that's the honest truth. There was one speaker, he was just talking a lot of like, words that i was just like whoa he was talking about the stock market and like all these different things that i'm sure other people were learning and were happy to be hearing those things but for me i was just like mm, mm, eh, snooze <laughs> but yeah i mean but other than that no everything was pretty good there was not really anything negative other than my attitude at the beginning of the a conference that was about it I mean, it was Las Vegas, so it was just, it was awesome. You know, you got to see people dressed up. Some people, some ladies were wearing heels, shiny blazers, hot pink. They were like super cool, like model status over here. And I was like, whoa. And there were some people that were super casual. You know, they had a sweater on. They had like sandals on. They were, they were shorts, you know, they're like Vegas. Woo! You know, they were, they were having a good time, I'm sure. But it was just like, you got to see all these different people and you got to interact with all these different people. And of course, it's time to network. So that's what a lot of people did. You know, that's what we tried to do as well. But this was our first time. So pretty much we were just kind of like amazed to see everyone and just to see the large crowds and just to see everyone so pumped up. So that was pretty cool. You know, you got fireworks. You had like all these different dances because it was like I said, it was Las Vegas. So it's like, woo, like last time it was in Florida. Eh. Eh, Florida, you know, Florida, weird Florida. <laughs> if you're from Florida, never, sorry, I said that. <laughs> no, you just hear a lot of stuff about Florida, but I'm not really, I was just excited to be in Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. I know it, you know, it's Sin City and all that, but the Tenex Growth Conference, it was something else. It was just like, wow. It was definitely a great experience. We stayed at the Excalibur, um, so it was like the little pyramid and from there we walked um to mandala bay and that's how we got there so everything was good everything was fast of course people checked your bag make sure you know and you didn't have anything that you weren't supposed to have 
But other than that, it was such a great experience. I am so excited to go for it again. I'm really excited and I hope that I was able to share my experience, my very honest experience about the 10X Growth Conference. And I hope that this has helped. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Rose's Reviews Official. Rose's Reviews Official. And also follow me on YouTube, Rose's Reviews. Subscribe below. Let me know your thoughts on the 10X Conference. Did you go? Did you not go? Were you thinking of going? What, I mean... What do you think? Did you like it? Are you planning on going next year? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.